Hello and welcome to Turing Dev Talks. My name is Jose and I'm turning from Montreal, Canada. And today on the panel, we have Old Mamun, which is expert in PHP and Python. And he's joined us from Bangladesh. All right, Al Mamun has more than five years of experience with PHP and Python, and he is working with Python at Turing. Can you believe that? Expert in PHP and expert in Python. He has more than five years of experience, but today he will walk you through to Laravel framework. Hello, Mamun, <clears throat> and how are you doing and how is the weather in Bangladesh? Uh, thank you, Jose, for inviting me. Yeah, well, I'm doing good. Everything is uh, good here. Uh, there is no lockdown and COVID situation is much better now. And so the weather is pretty good here. The winter is coming. It's neither hot nor cold. Overall, it's a wonderful weather here. Oh, nice. Here it starts snowing. Actually, it's really cold here. Uh, but let's focus on Laravel, okay? <laughs> uh, so uh, what can you share um, for the ones that doesn't know Laravel, what should they start? Yeah, well, Laravel has a wonderful documentation. So someone, if you want, he can follow the mm -hmm. documentation. Uh, he, will, he will get everything in, in the documentation. Uh, there is another website called Laracast. The, there are lots of wonderful tutorials. So if anyone wants, he, uh, they can follow Laracast, uh, their tutorial for getting started or, or uh, improving skill. Okay. and. So we are going to share all the links into the description section below. You can go down below and click on link and, and watch it and you can uh, learn by yourself. And don't forget to subscribe to Turing.com and give a thumbs up for this video if you like this content. OK, so let's get started. So Almamun, my first question is, uh, what's Laravel? Uh, well, Laravel is a free open source, most popular PSP framework. It's robust and easy to understand. The framework was released in 2011 and it offers a complete ecosystem for building web applications. Great. All right. And if you want to create a list with the main features of Laravel, okay, um, how would that be? Uh, actually, Laravel has lots of features uh, such as it follow MBC, model view controller architectural pattern, and it use Composer as a dependency manager. Mm -hmm. uh, Laravel provides uh, lots of built-in libraries and packages which make uh, development faster and easier. And to developing backend API in Laravel is much easier because you don't need to install any other library. Uh, Laravel has all built-in services for managing a background API. Nice, nice. That's really nice. But I have seen in another framework like Symfony or Falcon PHP, Slim PHP, old framework, uh, they have, uh, for Symfony, for example, they have a Symfony CLI that help us to create files and organize our product, okay, our project. But uh, my question is, does Laravel have something similar? Yeah, yes, of course. Laravel has a wonderful command line tool called Artisan, uh, which helps developers to boost up new Laravel application, uh, create new models, view, and others, uh, com other application mm -hmm. components. Uh, also, we can uh, manage uh, background queues and scheduler using artisan command. Okay, that's that is that's really help us to speed up the process, right? Uh, and also, Laravel has a Blade template engine, which uh, helps the developer build the views faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, and which uh, uh, Blade engine template, right? Yeah. Blade and template okay, engine. so and how it works? Can it, can I, can what's the folder structure for a Laravel project? Actually, if you create a Laravel project using mm -hmm. Composer, uh, it will uh, structure all folder. And if you follow the artisan command, you don't need to uh, care about the folder structure, uh, where you will put the live uh, view, where we will put the model and controller. Uh, the right. artisan command will put it uh, to the right place. Okay, so I don't need to... Oh, I, I can't create folders in anywhere in the project and think that will work, right? I have to follow a design pattern. Right. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. You have to follow the design pattern. Uh, if you want to create manually, you have to uh, follow the Set right. Set up it manually too. Yes. Yes. Got it. Okay. All right. Got it. Uh, and how, uh, when it comes to manage database, okay, uh, how can we access the database uh, in a lot of our application? Yeah. Well, for database, Laravel has a wonderful ORM object relational mapper called Elegant. 
uh, mm-hmm. which is uh, super awesome for which makes la- database work a lot easier uh, laravel has built in mechanism for creating database migrations and uh, cedar which is actually basically an artisan command so we can uh, create a database migration cedar using artisan command easily okay got it so can you have a folder to put your migration there and you have a command line to run that will run your migration yeah, yeah that's yeah. something that javascript doesn't have yeah think about this uh all right so um, so let's suppose we have a start procedure in in our database and uh, how easy is uh to call that yeah well besides uh, using warm we will mm-hmm. we also be, will be able to run a SQL query using query builder so using query builder we will be able to run a raw SQL query so we can run a store procedure or any other thing uh, inside query builder okay good so we have a RM and also we have um, a query builder that we can create our custom C, uh, custom uh, custom SQL and also yeah. call start procedure in uh, custom database function, right? Database, yeah, okay. All right, okay, so, and what more does Laravel have? Uh, for, uh, for Laravel has uh, lots of other uh, features, like, such as how uh, you can cache data using Redis or any other in-memory mm-hmm. database to boost up your application performance. Uh, Laravel ha- also has good support for managing background tags and uh, for managing Chrome tags, Laravel has a scheduler. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a pretty awesome, which will make uh, software development lots uh, super awesome. And sure. for, for other common web development tasks like authentication, authorization, uh-huh. sending emails, routing, managing session and cookies, input validation, file upload, uh, and many other things is much easier in Laravel. Got it. Yeah, that's awesome. And also, uh, my next my next question is, um, how could we provide a safe Laravel application? Uh, well, uh, Laravel has built-in feature for providing security like authentication, authorization, uh-huh. uh, protection against cross-site scripting, and minimizing cross-site uh, request forgery. That means uh, CSR protection. We can provide real limiting, uh, so we can achieve. Uh, oh, security in Laravel mm-hmm. easily. All right, great. Understood this. Um, okay, so why should we go and learn a framework like Laravel and not going straight on PHP? Uh, well, uh, good question. Uh, actually, if we uh, create application, let's say we are creating, we, we need to create multiple application. We are creating mm-hmm. a, some feature in a application. Whenever we will create another application, uh, if we use raw PSP, we have to develop everything from scratch. But if we use Laravel, mm-hmm. uh, a framework has lots of uh, things uh, common in application development. They are already developed, so we don't need to develop this. Uh, so we'll be able to get a phase, good start. That means uh, if we cre- use raw PSP, uh, we have to mm. do many things manually. If we use framework, uh, we will get many things already done. So that's a good advantage. Another advantage is uh, if we use framework, a uh, framework uh, mm-hmm. provides good security. So if, if we don't use framework, if we use raw PSP, we have to provide security manually. So that's another problem. Okay, so you got me. If we yeah. if we use the framework, uh, it will also uh, speed up our development process. The, uh, process because it have lots of built-in library. We will be uh, able to do a big task within a short code using framework. Uh, this are especially if main... you use the command line tools, right? Yeah, yeah, the command line tool and the framework packages. How uh, do we talk about? There is telescope, Cashier, and a lot of other. Our packages this package will help us to boost up your application quickly so if you like this content if you enjoy this video please consider giving you as a big fat thumbs up and comment in the section below why do you think we have to go to a uh, framework and not with raw php all right so my next question is uh, i would like to know uh, what are the most popular lot of well packages well, uh, there are many popular packages in Laravel ecosystem. Uh, mm-hmm. Some of our, their official packages, besides official packages, there are lots of other unofficial packages, which has been developed by other developers. 
Uh, here are some official packages uh, such as uh, Telescope. Telescope makes a wonderful companion to your local Laravel development environment. Mm -hmm. Telescope provides insight into requests coming into the application, exceptions, log entries, uh, database queries, queue job, mails, notifications, cache operation, schedule tags. Uh, mainly, you will be able to monitor your whole application using Telescope. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. So you can monitor our bugs or crashes and something like Everything, that. Everything, yeah. Okay, great. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So Laravel has a cashier. Uh, if you want to add a Stripe or Paddle payment integration mm -hmm. to your application, so you will be able to do that easily using cashier package. All right. So the cashier, in my understanding, is a kind of uh, a standard package for you to manage uh, payment gateway. Yes, yes. Oh, got it, got it. Uh, Laravel has another wonderful package in the, called uh, Horizon. Uh, Laravel mm -hmm. Horizon provides a beautiful dashboard and code driven configuration for your Laravel powered Redis queue. Uh, Horizon allows you to easily monitor key metrics of your queue system, such as job throughput, run times, and job failures. Uh, well, Laravel has another awesome package called Octane. Laravel Octane super sends your application's performance by serving your application using high-powered application server, including Soli and Roadrunner. Uh, Octane boots your application once and keep it in memory, and then uh, fit it requests at supersonic speed. Mm, nice, nice. Kind of memoize your application, right? It's a kind of cache, right? Yes. I yes, love yes. A supersonic speed, yeah. Uh, so Laravel has another package uh, called Passport. Uh, Laravel Passport provides a full OAuth 2 server implementation for your Laravel application in a matter of minutes. So besides these uh, packages, there are many other official packages of Laravel uh, and so lots of other unofficial packages, which make Laravel so much popular and uh, it's make uh, application development lots easier. Understood. If we're going to create a list for that most popular package, it will be a telescope in first place. And then you have Cache to manage uh, payment gateway. You have Horizont. We have Octane and Passport, right? Yeah. All right. So that's awesome. And what are the job opportunities for a PHP developer that knows Laravel? Yeah, well, actually, as a PHP developer, if you want to create a big application, yeah, you, can, you have to choose a framework. And mm -hmm. uh, for framework, Laravel is the most popular framework uh, in PHP world. So for the job market, Laravel has actually lots of uh, job opportunity because nowadays, uh, many companies, they are creating web application using PHP and their, their first choice is Laravel. So actually, there are lots of job opportunity in Laravel. Uh, Laravel has a job site la called Lara Job, so anyone can find job there, and mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, uh, a Laravel developer can work as a freelance developer, and so he has a great opportunity to work at Turing as a Laravel developer, uh, because uh, many of our clients they need Laravel developer, so anyone can join Turing as a Laravel developer, uh, and so also they have also lots of other opportunity that they can work. All right. So if you are a PHP developer, if you are a lot of a developer, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like this content. And if you want to apply for a job, you can go to turing.com slash jobs and apply for your dream job. Okay. You go to Turing, apply for a job, you go to the process. And then once you master the process, once you finish the vetting process, you'll be able to get a job in US Silicon Valley. Could you please share some final tips and for the developers to keep in mind uh, what are the best practices um, when are you going to use Laravel? Well, there could be many, but a few tips that I would like to share would be to uh, mm -hmm. use the latest version of Laravel. Uh, don't execute queries in Blade template. Uh, use elegant WRM over using Query Builder or Roy SQL queries and put DB logic inside model. Uh, mm -hmm. Use proper naming compensation and make the best use of uh, artisan C CLI and move validation from controller to classes and remove unnecessary package packages and follow the Laravel's design pattern. Actually, Laravel has lots of other internal design pattern for managing some other mm -hmm. types. So make sure to follow those design patterns. 
uh, besides this there are lots of other uh, tips and tricks you can follow to improve your application that was helpful thank you um, thank you all mamon for sharing your knowledge with us today i hope our audience liked that as i did okay and if you like this content if you like this video please don't forget to give us the big fat thumbs up subscribe to this channel and if you have any other queries you can email us at support at turing.com we are going to reply all message okay if you have another another question you can uh, write a comment in the section below i will read everything and i will reply everything okay and let us know what more would like to learn in the next videos thank you and i hope to see you soon